everybody, I'm Sin. Welcome to the Book Nook. Today we're going to be doing another library book haul. I may have gotten a little overzealous this time when I went to the library. Last time I only got four books because I was all like, I like to go get as many books as I know I'll read in the time period that I have. There's no way I'll read all these books that I got, but I, I kept seeing books I wanted, so I kept throwing them in, the, in my bag. I was like, oh, I want that one too. So... <laughs> Here we go with all the books that I got from the library recently. So the first one we got is, I have them in a pile next to me, In Another Light by A.J. Banner. Uh, all right. So this book, basically it follows the story of this mortuary cosmetologist, uh, Phoebe Glassman. She lost her husband in a tragic accident and, you know, she's just kind of disappearing into her grief and into the, you know, I guess the weirdness of the job that she does. Basically, a cosmetologist to dead people is you're putting makeup on dead people. So, yeah, you know, at, at some point, a body comes through that is the mirror image of herself. And uh, that, that was weird. And then it even has a, a similar tattoo on the body. And so... She has in her effects to it that she finds that she has a photo of her. Okay, so this is really weird. And that's the premise of this book. And I thought that sounded quite fascinating. And I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that and read it. And this one, it's not super huge. Let's see, how many pages is this? This is 239, so not too bad. Not too bad. I consider it if it's, if it's under 300, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, so the next one I got, and this is going to be on my video game TBR, uh, Blood, Sweat, and <laughs> Blood, Sweat, and Pixels by Jason Schreier. Oh, you can't really see his name because the, the tag's in the way. But Blood, Sweat, and Pixels by Jason Schreier. And this basically is a deep dive into the underbelly of what the devs do when they make a video game. So it gets into like some really popular video games, uh, Dragon Quest Inquisition, Destiny, Stardew Valley, and it kind of goes into behind the scenes on what goes into making a video game. And as some of you know, my partner and I stream over on Twitch under Rock Lobster Streams, and we've been doing that for several years, and video games are a big part of our life. So... I like to occasionally read stuff about video games, hence blood, sweat, and pixels. All right, next up, we got a series I've been meaning to read for a long time, and I kept talking about it, and I saw this at the library. This was the last one I saw, and I had to get it. It was The Witcher, The Last Witch, and I have been <laughs> meaning to read The Witcher series forever. There you go. Uh, I'm not good at this. And it's by, I, I guess his name is Andre Sapkowski. Andre is spelled weird. It's like A-N-D-R-Z-E-J. So I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Andre. So yeah, the Witcher series follows Geralt, the handsome Geralt of Rivia. And it takes place in medieval times. Uh, he is a witcher, which is a monster hunter. So it's a fantasy book. I love fantasy. And so I'm very excited to read this one. Yay, The Witcher! <laughs> so the next book I got from the library is Light from Uncommon Stars. Ooh, we got a shiny one. By, I hope I don't butcher this name, Rika Aoki or Rika Aoki. So the premise of this is there's a character that it follows, uh, Shizuku Satomi, and this person made a deal with the devil to escape damnation. Never do that. That's never a good idea, in my opinion. And that's, you know, <laughs> famous last words. She has to entice seven other violin prodigies to trade their souls for success. And she has already delivered six. And she has to deliver the seventh. And that is the premise for this. And I'm sorry I keep shining the shininess into your face. <laughs> so that sounded like... It sounded pretty good, like a good story. I'm into it. I like stuff like that. So I grabbed this one. All right, moving along, moving along. We got two more. This one, Light Years From Home by Mike Chen. Now, 
Oh, this is another shiny one too. Try to hold it so there's not like super glare. Okay. Right there, Sin. Don't move. Don't move at all. You can't move now. <laughs> so, okay, this book is basically about there's a family and there's two sisters, Evie and Cass, and they have been on speaking terms for like the past 15 years. Their dad and brother had disappeared. The dad was returned, but the brother never came back. And they always thought that they were abducted by aliens or taken by something. And so that kind of broke the family apart and they haven't talked. And uh, yeah, so it follows that story. Will the sisters talk to each other again? Will the, the brother ever reappear? Who knows? We'll have to read this to find out. Like, here's from home. Mike Chen. Sounded good. I like stuff about UFOs, aliens. So that definitely caught my attention. I was like, yeah, we're going to read that. And the last one, which is the largest one that I grabbed. And honestly, beautiful cover. Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Look at how pretty that is. Here, let's, let's put that up there. This is Su Lin Tan. Oh, such a pretty cover. I love it. Basically, it follows the story of Xinyin, and this is a girl who has grown up on the moon, uh, kind of lives a solitary lifestyle, but she's being hidden from this emperor who basically exiled her mother for stealing his elixir of immortality. And so when her Xinyin's magic kind of flares up and her existence is discovered, she has to flee her home and leave her mother behind and try to run away from uh, the evil empire is what I'm gathering this book is about. And I love fantasy. This sounded right up my alley. You may notice a theme here that I've also noticed. Stuff about the moon, light years from home, stuff like all these have like stars and another light. I don't know. It's all like celestial. I, I'm drawn towards celestial books apparently. I don't know. It's just what I like. I go through phases, you know, kind of like moon phases. So yeah, that was my a uh, little bit gluttonous library book haul. I will definitely probably not be able to read these in three weeks. And also, let's see how many pages are in this one. This is a this is a big one. Oh yeah, five hundred. Oh no, those are let's see acknowledgments. Four hundred and ninety-eight pages. We will probably have to renew this. So yeah, that is my library book haul. I got more than I will be able to read, but we'll renew them and we'll do it. Thank you everyone for joining me here on the book nook today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And then until next time, we'll see you later. Gotta wave with both hands. Gotta wave with both hands. We'll see you later. Bye.